Hi guys, it's Bami Army here coming in with you with another amazing video. So everyone says the mix breakdowns are the mix breakdown wars are are over, they're done, they're rubbish, they're not very exciting, you know. It's all about the 5v5 in Clash of Clans. Well, this war was amazing, it came down to the last three attacks. LP4, LP4 were two attacks down. They had two Town Hall 13s and they had to triple both to win. Hello Kitty had one one, uh, one Town Hall 13 hit left. If they'd have hit it, they'd have won on percent. And they would have won, but unfortunately it didn't go in. And then we had the devastating news. And that's the reason for the title. This was the legendary clans. Hello Kitty's last dance. It was their last time they are going to compete. They're going to compete in the mixed breakdown war. I mean, they are going to be doing some uh, 5v5s, etc. But this is their last dance. So, uh, a lot of love to the kitties. They've been very good to me personally over the years. Uh, I know some of the other streamers, Susie and Adam, etc. Obviously, uh, would convey that as well. I mean, it's sad to see Kitty go, but it's on to bigger and better things for the, uh, for the players, for the leader. We had the leader in the uh, Twitch chat at the end when he announced the retirement after they lost. But I'm not sure. It's a big loss and uh, big love to the kitties in whatever they do next. But uh, we're going to get into the attack. So, as you can see here, you see what I was talking about earlier. You'll see the last two attacks. Okay. So, this is actually... So, this attack was from Elliot from Tribe Gaming. Okay. He's playing in LP4 on one of his other accounts, but this is uh, the Elliot from Tribe Gaming, one of the best clans in the world. So uh, he needed to hit this or they were going to lose. And they would have been out of the CWO Gladiator. So you can see, he went in with the uh, traditional Lalo approach, you know. Went in with a blimp, went in the king to funnel. Blimp's going to take out the uh, out the eagle. He's looking to get the, uh, get the enemy queen there as well. Get a bit of value from that and uh, keep moving forward. So Queen takes out the other side. He's looking for that nice pathing on the Lalo. Baby Dragon on the other side. All percent as well at this point. King does his work. Queen's going to do a massive charge. He's got two super wall breakers there. Such an amazing troop at the moment. I would recommend that you use them or try out a charge like you've seen here from Elliot. You know, Lalo is so strong in the meta at the moment, especially with the increased Hound and that double wall break. Wall break you, you can see why he plays in Tribe. An excellent approach, uh, excellent planning. He's got the uh, single target there, but he has the freeze for that. He knew that would be coming. He obviously wants that, uh, wants that Queen. Queen's going to go a little bit out of uh, range. He freezes again. Look at the planning that's needed. You see how he's looked at the path in there. He's looked at the pathing of how it all fits together and how it all comes together. So you can see champion comes in on the single target. So you're looking at a minute. A minute he's not even started his Lalo. It's like a minute before he's got in a single troop. So it just shows you the power and the value of that uh, queen charge. But you can see the hound comes across the base. In comes the uh, hay spell into that town hall. He tones over it. As you would expect, obviously, that big bomb is going to really hurt you. And then he just passed around and uh, he has plenty of spells left. And you can see it's an excellent attack. You can see why all of this is uh, LP4. You can see why he plays in Tribe Game and the, the methodology on that queen of reading where she's going to go, bringing the heels, the double wall break was absolutely phenomenal. So uh, you can't fault him on that. Although. I am a little sad as it is Kitty's uh, Kitty's uh, Kitty's last war, and I was the Kitty streamer, so I've been through a lot with Hello Kitty, and it's uh, sad to see them go. But uh, I'm sh I'm sure there's uh, they feel the time has come, you know. Okay, so we saw that one. We're going to see the next the next uh, the next hit in the war. That so this was by uh, Tosser. Tosa, Tosa, sorry, <laughs> not Tosa, Tosa. And uh, this is my Tosa, who uh, is actually part of Croatian Army. So, uh, 
and I know this is where they originally started before they went into the uh, 5v5 clan. So as you can see again, it's another Lalo. If you're not doing Lalo, Dragbat, you're not doing the Hybrid or the Yeti Smash, they're generally the uh, considered attacks now. There's some random ones in there and some different ones in there, but uh, we're going to show you one as well in a minute from, uh, from Dr. Octopus. It's probably the best attack of the war. He absolutely hammered the uh, the dragon attack. So anyway, we'll see where he goes with this. Anyway, puts in the golem king in there. He had a yeti in there to funnel as well. King doing work. Queen goes in behind. He wants that enemy queen. You see, that will really hurt his Lalo. He's going to get the scatter shot as well. So there's big value from this charge as well. So king goes in. Sorry about that, I do apologise. Queen goes in behind. I should edit that out of the video, but I'm not going to. Please forgive my uh, my iPad worries. Okay, so you can see he comes in there. It's got the uh, final stages here. He wants that scatter shot before he goes in with the main Lalo. In comes the main Lalo from the top side. 20. Very, very heavy on the Lalo. So uh, he just wants to get that little bit of help with the path in there. Help with the... Uh, it's always risky as well. But but you can do different types of attacks because it's not a one-hit wonder. What you see what you see with these 5v5 wars is the bit I don't like about them. I mean, they're amazing for competitive. I mean, in terms of the action and everything like that. The bit I don't like them is... It makes people attack a certain way because they have to get the two star. So you can see there that he didn't come in the way you would traditionally come in. He didn't wasn't worried about getting the two star. He was going for the three, and that's the reason I like some of these mixed breakdown wars. You know that that it encourages people to go in at a a certain way. You know, you go in at a certain level, a certain a certain approach. Really, it's it's a lot more aggressive. Uh, and I mean, this was shaky. Whether this go in that scatter shot, that scatter shot was doing work. I, I, there's a little bit of element to look in here as well. I honestly thought this was going to fail at the time, but he just got that warden to snipe that scatter shot, or that would have been over. I mean, that's as lucky as you like. But when you're under pressure in the last seconds of war, Tosa said no. I will not go quietly into the night. I will not. I will not let LP4 lose. And luckily for him, even with that red mine, he's just got enough minions. And with a warden, he's just got enough to get round. So we're going to show you. Uh, we're just going to show you uh, just about one more attack here. We're just going to show you. Uh, we're going to show you the hit from the leader of Hello, Hello Kitty. And uh, just so I don't keep you all day, I'm just going to run it a little bit faster, okay? So we're going to run it. We're going to run it at two speed, but you can see this is how you do a drag. This is how you do a drag bat from uh, Dan Piggy, the leader of Hello Kitty. Obviously, we had him in the chat. We did a little interview with him after the war. Let him know his feelings about the season, etc. Uh, he was a little down, understandably. Obviously, he knew it was the last war. All these players are breaking off and uh, going somewhere else. So, you know, it, it was a little bit emotional, but they've been together a long time. So, in comes the uh, main drag army. It's a very nice approach. It was a very nice funnel. The bats created the perfect pattern for him, you know. It was good base reading by Dan Piggy. As he pushes round, you can see perfect fighting for the bats. King on the outside, keep everything in. The uh, bats go inside, dragons go inside, take out the inferno, take out everything there, and uh, that's uh, GG from uh, Dan Piggy. And unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Okay, so we're going to go into the last attack that are probably. The best attack of the war that I showed you earlier. It's from uh, Dr. Octopus. 
the guy, he did get a six pack as well. We run this a little bit faster, but uh, as you can see, it's a hybrid. He absolutely smashed it. So uh, in goes the blimp. Gets all the value that he wants to there. Nice job with that. Hog into the, uh, the single target. Then here comes the impressive bit. Look at the value of this queen charge. Look what he gets with this queen charge. He gets the town hall. He gets the uh, scatter shot. He gets the uh, expo. He gets the uh, single target. He gets the CC. I think he gets the king of the queen as well. But the amazing value. And then brings his king in on the outside. Then starts his hybrid on the bottom here. And uh, yeah, you can see. Look at the value of that queen in the center. Keeps him alive with a freeze as well. She gets the enemy queen so the miners and hogs can do what they want. She stays alive as well. Look at the planning on that. And now across comes his hybrid. And he absolutely hammered this base. I mean, he probably could have attacked it again with what he had left in the end, you know. Was such an impressive queen charge. So there you go. It's the last dance for Hello Kitty. What can I say? I play some emotional music, but I'm not allowed. But uh, Hello Kitty, it's been emotional. You're my boys. Good luck to all of you in the future. Make sure you all uh, keep playing Clash. Keep living the. Uh, keep playing competitively. Keep going. I'm sure some of them have already got other clans lined up. But it's going to be Hello Kitty's last dance. And Barmy Army with another video. Until next time. Peace out people.